All right, people, welcome back. More Day of the Duel. So today is Friday. We are playing with them Chemical Beasts, and I think I pretty much got the Dead to the Definitive version. Uh, polls and stuff like that, Dexterity and Polls, will be going up next week. And uh, with that, I dead drew the shit out of my fucking shit. Like, what is this? What is this? <laughs> wow, drew both my fucking Mazulis, which means that all my brilliant treatments are dead. Thank you, YGO Pro. Mmm, Yu-Gi-Oh luck! <laughs> God damn, I wish I had like the spirit of Joey. Fucking just have that good ass luck. Who needs skill when you got luck? This hand is garbage and they made me go first? Like, wow. Wow. <laughs> so, if uh, Chemical Beast don't get another month, I'll give you guys that profile. And uh, there was actually someone, there were like people, a couple of people commenting, and they were like, you know, like, why are you complaining about OCG when you're playing OCG? Like, no, no, I'm not complaining about the cards. Of course I want to play some OCG cards. I'm playing Chemical Beast. That's OCG, right? That's that's OCG right now. No. My problem with, oh, no, it's fucking Gradles. <laughs> oh, no, this isn't going to be good. And I opened up like, shit. <laughs> yep, go ahead and get your Parasite. I seriously doubt I'll be attacking you directly anytime soon, really. I hope I can just get my Field Spell and take it slow. No, I'm just start getting poked by Cobra. <laughs> I mean, my Field Spell can easily handle this situation, like... It's like, I mean, I have triple my spell spell, triple terraforming. Like, let's go. What do you mean with that? It's like fucking trash, of course. Like, they can't even survive a fucking attack by this. Like, wow. Watch me draw Brilliant Fusion. Watch me draw Brilliant, brilliant Fusion. Like, oh my god. Uh, no, no. I want to play OCG. What I don't want to play on is the OCG list because it catches me off guard and they have an unfair advantage because they're prepared to play on the OCG list. Of course. Of course. Need my field spell? No. Draw the fucking shit that I don't. This, oh my god. I'm going to set this. Like, ugh. Fucking just terrible, terrible hand. Terrible hand. That's that's sometimes it's just Yu-Gi-Oh for you. On paper the deck looks fine, then you fucking play and you get trash ass hands like that. Like what the fuck am I supposed to do with these? Like if this gets sent to Bayra, I could set this this combine, I could grab that back. That's not terrible, but still, like, I got fucking nothing right now. Ugh, I need my field spell. I need my field spell stat. So I know this is your fucking parasite. At least I know that. I don't trust these two set cards, of course. And I gotta look out for your your uh, continuous spell too. Like I got a lot to look out for. One day of peace. Wow. All right. Wow. And I was gonna draw on the fucking still shit nothing too. That's fine. Upside goblin. Maybe I can fucking upstart goblin and draw into something. Like I wasn't gonna do any. I didn't play, have any plans of doing shit to you. Like please. Triple terraforming. Triple my fill spell. Like please. I need that. <laughs> If I don't get that, I'm just gonna fucking end it all. I mean, this card's not terrible. It's just, I have no other Gemini monsters. <laughs> That's the problem. If I had any other Gemini monsters, we'd be fine. Unleash Your Power is a great card if I have a Gemini monster. So I guess I'll just set a card and end my turn. God damn it. Uh, I, I was thinking about maybe sending the Twin Twister, but then I don't want them to Twin Twister my Twin Twister. Does that make sense? I'd rather hold on to my Twin Twister and then use it definitively when I am ready to go. Oh, it's great Okaiju too. Oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> this duel's about to be disgusting. This duel is about to be fucking some ass because I drew opened up like garbage in this great Okaiju. Like, mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't like facing great Okaiju, but that's that's the fucking definitive cancer that we see in this game at times. So, yep. I finally got a monster that you couldn't get over for a little while and then you just fuck my shit up. Like, alright. So what does this spider do? Doesn't he like remove counters to do something? No, of course now you get your search on, like great. <sighs> Can I grab my field spell? Uh, I got my crab, but I need my field spell. Like uh you know what? I got unleash power. I got unleash your power. That's so good. Like, thank Christ I got unleash your power. So I might be able to do something. In some of my crab, I can go unleash your power and then I can get my search on. But what am I gonna search for? That's the question. I really got nothing to search for. I got really, I got nothing, like, still got nothing. T turns, turn seven, turn seven, I still got nothing. Like, damn, that, I got triple terraforming, triple my fail spell, don't draw shit. But no, that's the reason why I was saying the OCG list, they catch me off guard, because I, I, I literally, I search on Wadio Pro. I select single, I select, you know, this list, I select uh, TCG and OCG cards, and yet I'm fucking dealing with, uh, OCG, uh, OCG list when I clearly select select TCG list. So it's it's, it's YGO's it's YGO's fault, right? Oh, and it's this card is only said to grab your back card effect and then only grab the shit back. So yep, still not looking great. <laughs> uh well I got my dioxide, so he's 
fine. It's just, I wish I had my filth spell. <laughs> I wish I had my filth spell for a lot of fucking reasons, but outside of this, and I wish I could grab my filth spell with my fucking crab, but of course I can't. I, yeah, I'm gonna lose. I'm, I'm slowly just gonna fucking fall into obscurity. Like, at least I can do, like, a rank 4 play, because I can summon back my di my Oxide Ox, and then use, and then unleash your power with Crab 2, and then summon summon, so... I think, I know this is Parasite, so I kind of just want to Twin Twister these two. Then I think you'll actually go off, because I believe you were sent to a graveyard by Cartifact, because you were sent by the dis the cost of this, but I'm not sure. Oh, no, and of course I fucking hit the capture mission, so you get to draw two cards, like, ramp. Like, fucking ramp. All right. Uh, this duel is going to be a pain in my dick. <laughs> Why do I open up like shit and they just get everything? Cause luck, cause luck, you see, yeah. So to prevent that from me ever making the mistake of fucking Wajio Pro being a piece of shit and allowing me to, and, and showing me a filter of OCG hosted ban list when I specifically say TCG, I'm literally just throwing Regeki in every deck. Like I used to not do that, but now if I throw Regeki in every deck, pretty much uh, it's not possible for me to join OCG because OCG doesn't have Regeki. You know, so not only do I get to use a powerful card like Regeki, which I mean, it's great in some decks, great in some others, and of course, what am I facing with my opponent? I, I hit the, let's say, that's a Parasite, right? Yeah, I hit your Strike and I hit your Capture Mission. Capture Mission sucks, but I know that's a fucking Parasite, so I don't really have to worry about that until, of course, you start summoning shit. So we can go Unleash Your Power, which is great, you know? And I can get a Search, and I can get my Summon, so. Uh, and overall, that, that's pretty awesome that I get my search and I get my summon. It'd be awesome if I can uh, do my Dark Storm, but I already used my normal summons for my effect. Plus, I don't have anything, right? Because one turn, you can send one face up card, you can show a green but I don't have anything. So, I can't use my Burn Infusion, but I don't have my filled spell, so fucking rip right now. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab me. I'm about to summon you, so you're not that useful. But you would be useful if I had my field spell. Like, I think I'll grab another one of you, because I can get some use out of you, hopefully. And then we'll go ahead and activate Oxide. And then I'll summon, and everybody will become eight, and then I can do some rank eight plays. Like, I can do some plays, it's just... The move of powers until the end of the next turn, those monsters cannot attack, also their effects are negated. Okay, that, that, you kind of used that a little bit too early, so, rip. Uh, yeah, I guess I can just go into you, then go into you, and then, I mean, there's really nothing I can do against this fucking Waterfront, because Waterfront's ridiculously good, so, yeah, I guess I'll just go ahead and do the plays, so you and you, god, I wish I had my filled spell, <laughs> god, I wish I just opened up better and could do better plays, oh, you're not even fucking once per turn, wow, you're literally just messing up right now, like, you're not supposed to be doing that. Like, you should actually save your fucking shit for when I actually do something threatening to your ass. So I might be able to actually get rid of your waterfront. Not since you kind of fucked up. You know, East Town, Carter sent to the graveyard. From the field to the graveyard. So when I do Tajik Simo, use my effect. And then this card would be destroyed. You can remove one Kaji counter from it instead. Yeah, I actually think I can, uh... Handle your waterfront. Now since you keep on fucking removing counters like that. So remove your last counter, then I'll just go into uh, Cypher Blade and then pop your Waterfront. So, like, really? Like, that was, I, I didn't like that. You need to literally, like, maybe you should actually read my cards and wait for a threat before just throwing shit at me like that. I mean, you still have hell of advantage and hell of fucking plays, so I really can't say shit, but... So, I should get rid of Waterfront. <laughs> so, I can at least attack you. And then, if I try to attack you directly, you can just activate your trap card, your fucking parasite or whatever, and then you'll summon a Gradle from your deck, and that'll be annoying, so I think I'll just hold off for now. I could go for another rank 8 play. Yeah, I really could. Uh, maybe like Felgrand or something? Like, I can go swing a memory, summon my dragon back, go for Felgrand. That wouldn't be terrible. Just look at look at all the cards they have in their hand, because of course I popped their shit, so it'll go into Felgram. 
Uh, I really have nothing to talk about today. I've just been watching a shit ton of No Man's Sky. Like, a ass ton of No Man's Sky. Yep. Uh, I hate Great Okaiju. It's tribute my shit. Summon Gradles. Tribute my shit. Take my shit. Tribute my shit. Take my shit. Like, the deck is so skillless. It really is. Like, the deck has absolutely no skill. It's literally just playing off of your opponent's shit. Like, either you're gonna tribute your opponent's monsters, or you're gonna take your opponent's monster. Like, how about you play with your own shit, you know? How's that sound? How's that sound? Ugh, fucking Great Okaijus are fucking cancer. Fucking cancer. Like, they are, like, the epitome of fucking cancer stats you yell. Like, it's literally a deck of tributing your shit, like fucking Lava Golem, which is cancer, and taking your shit through, like, Snatch Steel means cancer. And then you just take two cancers and put them together. And then you get this fucking amalgamation of fucking just death and destruction. Like, Cancephal Gana... <laughs> like, it's a, like, fucking hypogonocephalates. Like, that's what this deck is. Like, that's it. That's all I got. I got no fucking plays. I drew, like, shit. They got everything. And, of course, they're playing Cancer Science deck. So, GG, I guess. Hmm, fun. <sighs> Alright, we'll get another duel. Bear right back. Ugh. Just get this recording over with and I can get back to watching some more No Man's Sky. That game, that game is amazing. Like, I, it just rip, I don't have a PS4 and I'm, I know it's going on PC, but I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really a video game player. I like watching people, except for Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter is, you know, that's my jam. That is my jam. God damn it. Why do I keep on drawing fucking Lazuli? What the fuck am I supposed to do with Lazuli in my hand? I, I get it. Broly Fusion is a very powerful play, and it's, you know, people are talking about whether something along those lines. But goddamn, does it fucking suck when you just draw into the fucking cards? And I make sure that I, I try not to draw into the fucking cards. You know? Oh, it's Abyss Actors. All right, well, I guess I'm not popping his set cards, because why? So I can do the exact same thing? I just let my opponent draw? <laughs> oh, yeah. Wild Hope. Isn't he a guy that you generally want in your pendulum scale? Yeah, I know nothing about Abyss Actors. So, I guess I should just play it by ear. Like, really. So, the first time this actor would be destroyed, my battle is not. Once per turn, you can target one of this actor monster you control. It cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects until the end of your opponent's turn. Even if this card leaves the field, so I can't target you. Alright. The set card now in its possession is destroyed by opponent's card effect, and you have a pizza ability. Return all cards your opponent controls to the hand. Ew. Alright, and what do you do? Uh, once per turn, you can make this card attack 100 for each different X-Base actor you control, different name, blah blah. blah. And the first, of course, the first time this card be destroyed by battle, if this card is destroyed by battle by card effect, you can add one of this actor card and redact to your hand. Ugh, god, they have such annoying effects. <laughs> like, everything about them is kind of annoying. And this hand is still not the greatest. Like, they said, on paper, the, hand, the the deck looks fine. It looks perfect. And then fucking, you, I play it, and it fucking does, like, ass. <laughs> At least it's better than that last hand. Holy shit. But I don't know. I can't say that it's because the deck is doing, like, ass, or it's because my luck is ass. Like, sometimes it's, it's difficult to tell. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and pop your escape stage thing. Like, I wouldn't mind getting rid of that. I guess I'll set my Twin Twister. No, I, mean, I mean, I can attack you. You won't be destroyed. Even this card leaves the field, right? The first time these have been called, can't be destroyed by battle, and then the whole targeting. But I think that's even if it's the second one. So I think if I use the effect, pop him, and then attack, he'll be destroyed. Because I think that's a continuous spell effect. And I said, don't, don't target another set card. I know they have a card. It's like, if this set card is destroyed by your opponent, then fucking rip, so... I'll get rid of your second stage coach for my abyss actor. Got all these eights, we're not getting traded in or fucking nothing, so. I'll go ahead and send you, special summon you, so now you can't get rid of my field spell, and then I'll run over your hope, you'll get your search, which might be your pendulum scales, then I could just twin twister and get rid of your pendulum scales. Never mind, you're just gonna turn to tribute. Is this by, by your opponent or just by card effect something, period? Uh this card just draw about a card. Oh wow, it's just period. Wow, rip. That's annoying. <laughs> That's annoying. You would think that it'd be by your opponent, but no. Like, bits factors aren't good, but goddamn, they have some fucking effects. <laughs> mm -hmm. so I'm assuming that you're gonna go ahead and grab your pendulum scale back, so. 
never gonna pop that set card. Like, that's not gonna be a fucking thing. Because I'm thinking that it's your fucking card that gives you five cards back in your hand, so I'll, I'll literally just start poking you with, like, a Lazuli. Well, actually, that'll get pitched. Like, really, I need, I, my, my hand's just as bad as, well, will be just as bad as his hand if he sets up them pendulum scales. Like, that sucks. That sucks. I caught that torrential tree. That's, that's the problem with the Bissack. You want to hit them because they might have, like, a strike or some actual back row. But at the same time, oh, never fucking mind. He has, a, he also has Twin Twister. Never fucking mind. No, that's fine. God damn it. God damn it. Ah, uh, at least he doesn't have his pendulum scales. But he does have this. First time this card be destroyed by battle. Card effect, it's not. Great. It's, it's this card destroyed by battle. And so and so. Then he gets some kind of effect. Special summon low corpus actor from his deck. Like, god damn it! Why do they always have these stupid ass effects? They're all stupid. They're all stupid. Wow. I want to play this deck. This deck seems like it's stupidly broke. All these Abyss Actor effects are really great. Like, what the fuck? Like, go, oh, if I'm destroyed, I'm not. And if I'm, I'm, if I'm actually destroyed, I get Search. Or if I'm actually destroyed, I get to summon from the deck. It's like, what the fuck? Like, come on. Come on. Come on, Konami. Come on. Fucking Power Creep. God damn. God damn. I got fucking nothing right now. I'm glad I got this fucking Lazuli in my hand. Like, I'm drawing Lazuli more than I'm drawing fucking Brilliant Fusion. <laughs> Shit. I have two Lazulis and three Brilliant Fusion. Never draw the fucking Brilliant Fusion. Like, alright, alright. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. Return your control and base actor until you have one base script in your graveyard into your hand. That's fucking useless, so. Well, at least I can crack your pendulum scales if you happen to set them up again. Then I wouldn't be surprised if they're like, oh, this card is destroyed by card effect, even when, even in a pendulum scale, similar to fucking, uh, like, Plush Fire. I think that's actually what they do. Like, look at all these things. Like, they all have a fucking paragraph. Target one chase of target face up card and fill up. Then our best actor is gonna destroy them. Alright, so. If you control level 700, best actor, your opponent can three cards in the next act, and this is another blah blah. So you're just gonna pop my monster. That's fine. That's fine. God damn it. <laughs> like, wow, like, is, is my luck that fucking bad? Like, I thought I made the definitive version of the deck. Like, on paper, it looks so great. And then I play it, and it's just my luck. Like, I bet if someone else played this deck, they'd be like, wow, Daniel, the deck is fucking really great, you know? The plays are, they just flow, and they combo so well together, and I just, you know, I draw and play exactly what I need. Then I'm fucking sitting here like, god damn it, I can't draw fucking shit to save my life. Like, wow. I, can't, I literally can't draw shit to save my life, like... I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is. Like, what did I do? Like, I must have done something in, like, my past life or something. I don't even believe in that. I don't even believe in past life that has fucking shitty, shitty luck. Shitty, shitty luck. I'm telling you to talk about one of his art. Charlie becomes in sale. And I guess I'll go ahead and twin twister that and crack your pendulum scales. And I believe that they'll be like, hey, I'm destroyed by card effect even while in the pendulum zone. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a search, right? Right? Because, of course, Wild Hope is exactly the card that you needed to draw. Like, <sighs> these duels, I apologize. I apologize if these duels aren't fucking good, but I can't do shit. Like, I'm not drawing in anything. <laughs> uh, even if I Geki him, he'll just get up to fucking go back to the Pendulum Scale to be set up the Pendulum Scale more, and he'll get his fucking summon. Like, there's just no point in me doing fucking anything. Like, wow. Wow. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Guess I could throw the Regeki at him, but... Like, you know? Like, I guess next turn, I'm kind of pondering. Like, I, I, I could... I could Regeki him, then I could swing the memories and then summon him back. Use his normal summon for effect, summon this. Like, ugh. Still, it's just not going right for me. Like, of course, of course he gave him that fucking pendulum effect. Like, you don't fucking learn, Konami! You don't fucking learn that you shouldn't give monsters that fucking effect. Uh, guess it's Regeki, and then they'll be like this effect, and not, oh yeah, the first time he's not destroyed, he destroyed, he's not, and then, of course, you have an effect too, right? <laughs> so, you're right, by your opponents, then you can go ahead and special someone with this act, no, not you, you, oh, you get to set a script, like, yep, yep, so pretty much just don't touch a Biss actors, because they'll always have something to do. Ugh, this is now let me guess, it's like, if this set card is destroyed by your opponent, then 
No, well, you have this actor here in Pendulum Scale or something along those lines, right? Like, god damn it. Oh. Summon you. And if I had my field spell, I could regeki him, but why the fuck would I ever want to regeki him? Because I have fucking regeki him, then. I mean, I mean, I'm just gonna feather dust him, then this that card, because I'm, st I'm still thinking, especially if he had to play it, still thinking that that's what that card is. Oh, okay, so I'll just go into Cypher. Then I can go into Former, which I think pops a face up card, I wanna say. I'm doing the shit out of this play, but it's good. Yeah, it pops a face up card. So. I could pop his monster. Like, he, it's a great, another fucking floaty ass pendulum archetype. Thank you, Konami, for making this shit. Yep, so I'll pop you, so you you can't be destroyed, and then when you are destroyed, you get something. It's like, what? Like, Konami, why, why would you make something like that? Why? And of course, because of the pendulum skills and how good they fucking are, you're just throwing fucking keating and shit. So, you're good, you're golden, you're golden. Like, this actor, especially how floaty they're a floaty fucking pendulum deck. Like, come on, come on. Then, Blade. I believe Blade is like, what? What does it say? I can just destroy a card, right? Okay, one card on the field and destroy it. So, yeah, I guess I'll go into you. And I can use this effect. Attack you, pop that. You don't have your pendulum scale set up, so you don't get that effect, so that's nice. Or you do. I'm saying, wait, you do get the effect? This set card is destroyed by opponent's card effect while you have a face up Abyss Actor in your. Oh, in your extra deck. Ugh. Misread that. I thought it meant in his pendulum scales. Never mind. Never mind. So. Never mind. I'm sick of this duel. I'm already fucking sick of this duel. God damn it. This duel is so fucking annoying. Like, everything. Everything floats. Are you fucking shitting me, Konami? Like, wow. Wow, fucking power creep. Like, this is literally what this fucking video is. It's just bad luck and power creep. Like, what the fuck? Are you fucking shitting me? Everything in this fucking shit floats? Everything in this fucking shit float? God, that's annoying. Alright, 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 alright. I can't wait to not play Yu Gi Oh anymore. Alright, get another duel, bear back. <sighs> if I don't have a video named Power Creep, then goddamn, that's what I'm gonna name it. Fucking, fucking Power Creep. Goddamn. Uh, the sand's okay. Yeah. So if I get my field spell, this man's running a 60 card deck. So possibly, if I can possibly just bust out some plays, never mind. He's just gonna quit. Quit. It's like, hey, hey, you remember Lava Golem? You remember how stupid he was? Like, yeah, let's make a whole fucking archetype of that. Okay. Hey, remember Snatch Steel that we unbanned it and was still broken, then we rebanned it, and then we, you know, let's make a whole archetype of that. It's fucking power creep. You know, let's go ahead and, you know, them broken ass pendulum monsters when they're still on the field, like a Rodine and fucking, and fucking Plush Fire, the, you know, the one that we banned because he was stupid. Let's make a whole archetype of that and have the whole entire fucking archetype float. Like, oh, God. Pendulum archetype that floats. Like, come on. 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 <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, what is the pinnacle? What is the fucking pinnacle? But I get it. Like, if you don't power creep and they can't face the previous shit, then you're not making any money. But god damn, it seems like every time you turn around, there's just more power creep and more power creep and more power I mean, like, look, this is the power creep of fucking Geminis. Like, what the fuck? Entire fucking Gemini. Oh, Cosmos. I mean, definitely their power creep. Like, come on. Come on. <laughs> yep. Yep. Dark Destroyer, pop yourself. I'm in Kin Can. I believe this. I believe I've seen this guy before. I believe he was actually in an episode of uh, the Pro Duel commentary, or he tagged or something. His name looks familiar. His name looks familiar. But yep, here we go. Fucking Ziggy Power Creep of fucking floaty ass monsters cosmos. So this should be fun to deal with. And by fun, I mean absolutely not. <laughs> so let's see what hit. Knowing my luck, he'll probably get Dark Destroyer. He'll probably get Dark Destroyer. And if he doesn't get Dark Destroyer, then of course. That one. No, oh, he didn't get Dark Destroyer. He got, what, Slip Rider? Ugh, that's, that's actually just as bad if he has Slip Rider. So, of course, I have the Chum Twister, but I'm not going to play it until he does, he plays the Call of the Haunted. Like, there's really no point. So, I think I'm just going to go ahead and summon my Crab, attack, make him tag out into the Slip Rider, then use my Field spell to then tag out once again with the Spark Field. So, you have to, you have to tag. Sorry much. 
Okay, no, I, I have the Twin Twister, so. Wow, you just let the Tin Can die? The fuck? Okay. Okay, like you literally just let that shit die. Just so you could summon your Tin Can back? All right, you're gonna summon your tin can, right? I'm kind of pondering this. You're gonna summon your tin can as if you think you're gonna last until the end phase, but I'm not gonna allow you to last till the end phase. If you're gonna waste your call to hunt it on that, I think that's okay. Like, no, that's fine, because I could just get rid of it in the spark field. So you let me kill your tin can just so you could wait till main phase two to not have your tin can dead? Like, okay. Like, I guess, like, I don't like any of that, so. I guess I'll go ahead and send, like, Darkstorm, because I don't need another Darkstorm, and I guess I can add me, like, add me, like, Oxide or something. No, I can add me fucking, uh, what's it called? Banish one general monster target card card control, so yeah, I'll banish you, and I'll grab you. And let's see. So. Get ready to call the Haunted. You gonna chain your 10 can? Summon Slip Rider? Yep. Okay. That's that. Now that's when you do it. Sup, Rider? Yep. Yep. I say wish I ran background this time, but I don't, so. Now you play Cosmo Joe? Okay. So. You're gonna like what? Banish my monster? Yeah, banish my monster in my graveyard. And then summon 10 can and then try to do 10 can effect again? Like. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my god. 10 can needs to be hit. Like, 10 can, 10 can needs to be hit. 10 can's fucking stupid. <sighs> Good thing is he's low on resources. It's just the bad thing is that I have nothing to stop this fucking 10 can from going off. I have absolutely nothing. Because I had to use my normal summon for my effect. If I had like my fucking, uh, what's it called? With fucking Unleashed? Like hell yeah, I'd be like, summon this, get my like additional summon. I think I'll use my additional summon. Summon that I did my additional summon for effect. I already used it. Like, now yeah, we're good. God damn it. So he's gonna get another Tin Can effect. Ugh, fucking Tin Can. You need to be hit and Cosmo Town needs to be hit. Like, you other stupid ones. Don't get like fucking Dark Destroyer? Like, fine. Fine, he's just a 3,000 attack monster that can't be targeted. We face way worse. We fucking face 3,000 attack monsters all the fucking time with blue eyes. Who cares, you know? What I really do care about is fucking Tin Can, the fucking multiple effect, once per turn. Like, like he gets his, he's gonna get his effect twice, pretty much. Because he doesn't do it during my fan phase, and in his fan phase, and then of course, fucking terraforming for this fucking helmet ass Cosmo Town. Like, god damn it, power creep! Like, oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm just dying on the inside, people. I'm just dying on the inside. Like, oh my god. Fucking power creep. Like, god damn it, Yu Gi Oh! Like, Yu Gi Oh! is so fucking stale and power creeped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of 3,000 attack monsters that I can't even fucking deal with because I can't even target it. And then, fucking get Tin Can effect again during the end phase because, of course, cause Tin Can's so fair. He totally shouldn't be hit. Like, no. Tin Can should be hit. Emerging Teleport should be hit. Cosmo Town should be hit. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. Yep. Yep. I got, I literally have, like, nothing to handle this situation. I literally have nothing to handle this situation. I guess I'll go ahead and activate Brilliant Fusion. Why? So I can destroy his Cosmo Town so you can grab another Cosmo Town? Like, Cosmo Town should be limited. Tin Can should be limited. Like, all oh, right, I can't activate spell cards. I forgot about that. Forgot about that. That, you know, Dark Planet can negate my spell cards, and it's not once per turn. So, even if I activate my filled spell and want to do something on those lines, I can't. So, awesome. <laughs> I can't do shit right now. Like, that's, I lose. GG. It's fucking power creep, right? Like, fucking. It's a great thing that I'm playing the fucking Pinnacle of Gemini Monsters, but it don't mean shit when I'm just facing down this fucking shit. So, yep. Like, wow. Power Creep. And if I don't have an episode named Power Creep, I'll fucking change that other episode, because this, this is the episode of Power Creep. Like, <sighs> doesn't even fucking matter, does it? Doesn't even fucking matter. 
I am playing fucking Chemical Beasts. They are not that great. And then we are facing something that is tier, top tier shit. And of course, when are we going to get the ban list? Who fucking knows, you know? Who fucking knows? I'll try to kill the fucking tin can and he'll just hop out of the way and tag out to the monster that he added to his hand through the effect of the tin can. And then he'll just go attacking and attacking that game. So awesome. GG, I guess. Uh, oh, fucking power creep. That's all I have to say. I got destroyed. I got wrecked. I couldn't give you guys any entertaining duels because Yu-Gi-Oh's power creep. Go ahead and put your fucking helmet on. Fucking helmet ass field spell that needs to be hit. Like, oh. Can't wait! Like I want to, I want to go back to watching No Man's Sky because that game is cool. I want to go back to fucking playing Monster Hunter because most majority of the time that game is cool. But Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh ain't fucking cool. <laughs> like I, 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 I can't stand Yu-Gi-Oh at times. I really can't. And the only reason why I do it, and the only reason why I record and play videos, is because it's my job. Like I literally made this shit a job. Like it's not, it's not even. Of course, yep. Yeah, go ahead and summon your fucking witch with your sucking sword trooper. And not fucking negated, not nothing. Like yep, 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 yep. Oh, and then t tag out into the monster that you top deck, top deck into like a... Oh, yeah, just make sure I don't have fucking anything. Oh, oh, you're gonna pop your own fucking Cosmo Town. And, of course, it, well, you probably wouldn't do that effect if you only had the Cosmo Town because Cosmo Town should be limited. But then you could just grab a Cosmo Town with a Cosmo Town because that... And, uh, yeah, yeah. You know what, fuck it, let me just fucking activate a pool. Let me just do something. Like, I got fucking nothing. Like, GG, I guess. Like, you can just go ahead and negate that with your Dark Planet. Like, yep. Yeah. Yep, it doesn't matter because you can just grab a Cosmo Town to Cosmo Town, but you don't even want to let me have that. Like, yep. Yep. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm. <sighs> hey, I got a new chapter of the anime of one of the mangas that I read. Yay, I'm gonna go ahead and read that. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot. You can go into infinity. Yep, yep. Yep, why not? Why not? Why not? Mm. Mm. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video <laughs> of me just getting my ass fucking raped. Oh my god. Wow. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I will see you guys next week with some more daily rules. Like I said, the polls go up. So, uh, deck suggestions on Sunday. Polls on the Thursday, and then we'll figure out what decks we're going to be playing from uh, uh, August through September. Yep. Thank Christ, Daily Duels is ending soon. <laughs> and by soon, I mean 1,000. This is 9.42, I want to say. That's what episode this is. So, you know, less than 60 episodes. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> then at least I can, you know, do Daniel Duels where I live stream, and then, you know, I don't have to worry about putting up, you know, uh, attempting to record and put up great content because it's just going to be live streaming whether I do it against bullshit or not. I mean, I just record live stream. It's kind of like I'm a live stream so I play with whatever. Ah, <sighs> Yu-Gi-Oh! And then I won't have to play every day because I'll change my content and the other duels be done. I don't have to record every day and play Yu-Gi-Oh! every day, you know? Like, it'll pretty much just be what? Daniel Duels, which will be on Tuesdays from what I'm planning. But I'm in Y, which will be on Thursdays. So, I just live stream just those two days, right? You know, card review, fake card Friday, that I don't have to play you go that, and then uh, whatever dual commentary, so I can at least see, you know, the matter of what people are doing on that end. Hopefully, you know, we'll have a new list by then, and, you know, you're gonna be fresh and not fucking stale as a fucking decade old cracker. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we can see something new on that part, that'll be on Wednesday, so. I mean, that's what I'm planning as of right now. But God damn it. <laughs> Just wow. Oh, uh, power creep. Power creep. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. I apologize. I really do. I apologize. I apologize for the power creep. I apologize for the staleness of Yu-Gi-Oh. I apologize. So thanks for watching Tech Support. See you guys next week.